There are three people that do nothing but strap you into the cockpit. And unlike a lot of aircraft, this cockpit is down sort of in the bowels of the aircraft. You're, you get placed down inside the cockpit and strapped in. And then the, the canopy is lowered on top of you. You don't even lower it yourself. Someone has to do that for you and lock it down. You're kind of becoming part of the aircraft, and it's becoming part of you. A shot of triethyl borane gas ignites the fuel, and the J-58 engines are started. Where it really got impressive is when it starts taxiing out of the hangar. And it's 110 feet long, and so this thing keeps coming out, keeps coming out, keeps coming out. And all of a sudden, you realize that's an awesome-looking airplane as it gradually comes out of the hangar. So here we were looking at an airplane that was going to be going 2,000 miles an hour, and its design was so futuristic. It was like no other airplane that had ever been designed because it was going to fly in an environment that no other airplane had ever been in. Tower has been 3 zero is number one for takeoff. I'll never forget how it feels to light those afterburners and feel one light before the other one does, and it jerks you pretty hard. Max trust. And it accelerates rather rapidly. Just a matter of seconds, you're, you're hitting 180 knots indicated airspeed, lifting off at 210, making sure you get the gear retracted before it overspeeds at 300 knots. And you keep pulling that nose up to try to achieve uh, the 400 knot climb out. And in less than two minutes from brake release, you're pulling out of after burning your level at 24,000 feet. It's, uh, it's quite a ride. I remember the first time I took the aircraft up to speed and into altitude, I went through Mach 1. And then I approached Mach 2, and it went through Mach 2 without the slightest uh, indication of any problems. And I marveled at that. And then it rolled right on through Mach 3. Of course, none of us had ever been that fast before, but you did all of this uh, effortlessly. And that was the feeling you had, that you had control of so much power on this aircraft that it was almost limitless. As the SR-71 accelerates through Mach 3, the triple sonic boom is followed by a blast of heat radiating from its black skin that reaches temperatures of 1,100 degrees. It truly flew through the air like a hot knife through butter. It really did. So it was pointy on every end, but it had elegance. But it was an elegance that was designed for performance. After 10 months of grueling training, the SR-71 crews were ready to go operational. Flying over heavily defended areas in enemy territories would push both the aircraft and the crews to their limits.